Hey guys, this is Jake Alexander with Casual Commerce, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how exactly to add and install the Facebook Pixel to your Shopify store correctly. So with that said, you're just going to need to first off log into your Shopify store, and then you're going to need to access your Facebook Business Manager's ad account. Now if you don't already have a Business Manager and an ad account, I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. So the first thing you need to do is head to Google and type in Facebook Business Manager. And if you already have a Business Manager and an ad account, you can just go ahead and skip a few minutes ahead in the video and get straight to the Facebook Pixel part. Now, what you're gonna do is go to this link right here, so business.facebook.com. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open this in an incognito window since I'm already logged into my Business Manager. So this is what it will look like when you click on it. And then all you're gonna have to do is click Create Account. Now I already have a few business managers and I went ahead and already created a sample business manager for this video so that way the video wouldn't be too long. So you'll just click create account and go ahead and fill out all of the necessary information. And then once you do, you're going to be taken to this screen right here. So now I'm inside of this business manager that I just created and what we need to do is create an ad account. So what we're gonna do is come down here to add ad account. I'm going to click on it and we have three options. We can add an existing one, request access to someone else's or create a new one. So we're going to create a new one and then we just need to put in an ad account name. So we would just normally you would just name the ad account, uh, whatever your store name is. So you can just put store name and then you're going to select your time zone. So in this case, uh, where is it? So once you've selected your time zone, you're going to select your currency and then you're just going to click next. And then this ad account will be used for you just going to click yourself and then click create. And then we're just going to sit here for one second and wait for it to load. And then what we're going to do is add people and set permissions. So we're going to add ourselves, and then we're going to allow ourselves complete access to everything and then click assign. And there we go. And we're gonna to need to set up a payment method as well, which you can go ahead and do. But in this video, I'm only showing you the pixel. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna hit close. And now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click on ads manager. And now we're inside of our ads manager and we're inside of the ad account that we just created. So what we're gonna do now is click on ads manager again and then hover over all tools. And we're gonna to go to pixels and once we're inside here you're going to see that we have the option to create a brand new facebook pixel so that's exactly what we are going to do so we're going to come down and click create a pixel and what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and autofill the name based on your ad account name so you normally just want to put your store names pixel so store names pixel here and you can put the website url if you want but you don't have to so i'm just going to click create and we're just going to sit here and wait for this to load up. And once it does, we're going to go ahead and finish the installation process. So now that we're here, we can see we have three options to install the Pixel. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the partner platform since you see that Shopify is right here. So we're going to select connect a partner platform. And then we are going to scroll down and select Shopify here. And what we can do is we can turn the and now we can go here and select some information. So we, we're just going to go ahead and turn on the advanced matching, click continue. And now it gives us a set of instructions. So I already know how to do this, so I'm going to just click continue and show you how to do it. So we're going to just go ahead and take this pixel ID right here. And we're going to copy it. And then we are going to come over to our 
admin dashboard of Shopify and we're going to click online store and then come down here to preferences and then we are going to come down here to Facebook pixel and we're just going to paste it in right there and then click save and once we have that we are good to go we can click here continue and what we can do is we can verify our pixel is working by sending test traffic to the site so we can go ahead and put our website URL in here so we can do that by copying or viewing our online store and taking the URL and then putting that in here pasting it sending test traffic which is just going to be us and then what we can go ahead and do is just sit here and wait and it's going to verify if our pixel is working correctly and there we go it is now active and everything is working then we just click continue and close and there we go we are all set so that's how you set up your facebook pixel inside of your shopify store if this tutorial was helpful go ahead and give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more content and i will see you guys in the next one